this is the Tesla Model S, the electric car maker's top of the line family car. We always expected the future of electric motoring to look, well, futuristic. This doesn't. But while it's unassuming from the outside, start to scratch beneath the surface and it turns into a full-on Batmobile. It's got door hands that extend from the side of the car, a massive 17-inch touchscreen inside. It's got self-leveling air suspension, driver profiles and something called insane mode. This is a sneak peek at the start of silent, stealthy electric motoring. But even more than its emissions-free driving, it's also a full-on proper performance car. One launch in insane mode is enough to have any petrol head giggling like a child again. <laughs> When you first get in the car, the thing that catches your eye is the fact there are no buttons on the centre console. Instead, it's dominated by this massive 17 inch display. It's a bit daunting to start with because it controls everything from your media and navigation to aircon and car settings and we're so used to having buttons there, but it's intuitive and really snappy to use. Everything falls easily to hand and you can also control a lot of functions from the steering wheel, which means that it's a very natural experience. When the time comes to set off, you'll notice there's no handbrake and no gear stick in the middle of the car. Instead, what you do is get in the car, put your foot on the brake, and flick this little lever into drive. From there, it's ready to go, and when you're done, it's just as simple. Press the button on the end to put it in park, foot off the brake, and walk away. It seems a little odd to start with, just putting the car in park and wandering off, but it becomes very natural very quickly. To charge the Tesla, you click the charger into the car through a small flap in the tail light. You can track the progress of charging from the screen inside the car, as well as choosing how far the battery will actually charge. Tesla recommends you cap it at 85% to preserve the life of that battery. At the supercharger stations, you can go from empty to 85% in just under an hour. The Tesla will let you set up different user profiles through the centre console. That means that if someone else has been driving the car, like your wife or, I don't know, maybe your editor, and the seat, steering wheel and mirrors are in different positions, rather than you fiddling around with them all individually, simply press your name up here and hands off, it'll remember where you last left the car. It's really, really handy and much easier than changing all of these settings every single time you get back in. The other cool thing about the user profile system is valet mode. That limits the car to 100 kilometers an hour and also softens the throttle right up, making it much slower and more docile than if it were in insane mode. That means you can be sure that when you hand your Tesla over to the valet, there'll be no Ferris Bueller style tail out joyriding antics. Driving a Tesla around town is an interesting experience. It's a little bit different to driving a normal car because, for one, there's very little sound to go with your speed, but two, the regenerative braking is very aggressive. When you lift off the accelerator, the car essentially will stop itself. You don't need to touch the brake until you bring it right down to a complete stop on those last few k's an hour. It's a bit strange to start with and it can make things feel quite jerky because you lift off the accelerator expecting to coast and end up getting thrown forward like the brakes. But once you're used to it, it's really quite a nice way to drive. One of the other things worth knowing about the Tesla is there is no gap in the traffic too small. With this much electric thrust under your right foot, you see a tiny gap there. Someone tries to drag you off, but you are the quickest thing on the road. It's a really satisfying feeling knowing that regardless of what pulls up beside you, you've got them covered. But it also makes driving around town really easy. It's instant talk, it's silent talk, it's brilliant fun.